welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Core's Life. In today's video, we're going to be going on a road trip on some of Northern Oregon's tourist attractions. Throughout the road trip, you'll see some beautiful drives and also some great spots to visit on your next trip to Oregon. The first stop we're going to is called Wista House. Wista House is a rest stop and an observatory for travelers. It overlooks the Columbia River Gorge. Let's go explore this beautiful scenic location before going to our next destination. Pack up my summer in a ziplock bag Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember all What if I don't hold on to this red string Can't retrace my old steps, the songs I used to sing If the birds I'll eat my breadcrumbs, how will I know who I was? Call me the sentimental type, nostalgic but I have Next, we're going to go to Cascade Locks. It's a small city on the south side of the Columbia River. There's some beautiful drives going into the city. And also, once you get in, there's some really nice spots to sit down, eat, a lot of fresh fish markets and small cafes. Definitely a must stop before you go to any other destination. Boxes on boxes you'd call worthless stuff. But I get a glow each time I go open it up If memory's a treasure, I'm trying to be a billionaire I fear I'd fall apart Finally, we're gonna go to Hood River. Hood River is known as the windsurfing capital of the world. It's a very big tourist attraction as there's so many hiking spots to explore, a lot of breweries, wineries, local farms to you pick berries from, and also it has a beautiful lavender farm. Typically, the lavenders start to bloom around June or July, so I recommend you go during that time. When we went, it hadn't fully started blooming yet. It was at the early stages, but we still got to explore the farm, talk to the local farmers, and also explore some of the scenic locations there. The lavender farm overlooks Mount Hood, so it's a really nice place to go and explore during the daytime. I highly recommend this in your next trip to Oregon. How will I go back to tourist attractions are just a short distance away from Portland. I recommend that you try to cover a few different spots while you make your next trip to Oregon. There's a lot of different places to explore within an hour's distance and a lot of delicious food. When we went back to Portland, we stopped by at a local food truck which is known to have smoked meats. Uh, we ended up getting the smoked chicken which tasted great and the place was called the Mac. Pack up my summer in a ziplock bag. Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that. I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember all. What if I don't hold on to this red?